So did you, um, did you get hurt in practice yesterday? Is that what happened? No, I didn't get hurt in practice. Just been having some nagging pains and so I had to let me heal up and get ready for Sunday. I mean, are you confident you're going to play on Sunday? Yeah, I'm confident I'm going to play. Just need to get, get ready, get right. Is it going to be a game time decision or are you, you're fully expecting to go? No, fully expecting to go. You know, it's been bothering me since last week. Had some pains then, even even week before. But I'm you know, just trying to. You know, nobody's 100 percent know, across the league, so just got to make sure I'm close as close to as as possible, and make sure I can be a positive force when I'm out there. So this wasn't like something from the Minnesota game. This has been going on. Yeah, it's been going on. Is it something that I mean, do you, do you feel it at all during games? Or yeah, I do. But you know, when the adrenaline gets flowing, you know, it starts to it starts to go away. But you know, at the beginning, before the game, that's when I'm really trying to work on as much as I can to make sure that it doesn't hold me back. What's bothering you the most? I can't tell you that. <laughs> you know, had to ask. Cause I just want to see what you're going through. Um, but obviously, you're off to a hot start. So it has. You feel like when you're out there, obviously, you push through. You're not going to be held back, right? Uh, not much, not much at all. You know, when I go out there, that's it's at the back of my mind. I'm, I'm uh, putting 100% out there and you know, putting my body on the line. Don't care about you know what happens to me. It's all about the team. As I, I know it's not a direct match. I'm not going against Joey Post. Is there a little extra juice when you know there's another kind of great pass rusher on the other side? Uh, I want to say it's always a good pass rusher, but like I feel like it's always competition between defenses. It's not you know, me versus Joey. Uh, it's not me versus Herbert or me versus uh, uh, Slater or, or uh, Storm. Or it's it's uh, our defense versus theirs and our offensive line versus uh, their offensive line. You know, who can who can outperform who and uh, make the the plays they need to make to win the game. And so you know, I like Joey. I like his game, and I want to go out there and make the no most positive impact I can, but you know, that's that's all fits in the scheme and if you know the individual stats aren't there, but you know, I'm, I'm uh being disruptive and you know, we have a great game all around. That's what matters to me most. What are you seeing from Slater? He is getting a lot of kind of recognition for you know playing well as a rookie so far. It looks good. It looks good. Uh especially as a rookie has has patience in his set and he's able to to uh, negate power and you know, the way the way he sets, he's able to, to change it up sometimes, throw people off. You know, he, I think he, he studied the game a lot to know, you know when he has help, uh, where his help is, whether it's from the guard or from trippers. And uh, I like uh, I like that he's he's already come this far as a, as a rookie because it's, it's good to see that you know, you know, some guys you know just work at their own pace. You got any tips from Greg Newsom? No. <laughs> I'm watching myself. If I get some tips, it'll, it'll be from uh, the O-line guru. That'd be Joe Thomas. Last week we saw you make this bull rush, and then you followed it up with like this Euro step chop move right after. Is there something that goes into that? Do you? Is it just you? You make those moves consecutively because you see it an opening, or do you practice those combos? And how do you develop that for yourself? Uh, no, I don't practice those combos. They just come as the game progresses, and. Uh, I know that I can't you know, throw the same thing you know, twice at him, you know, unless he's just, I want to say, anybody's deficient. I don't think that tackle was. But if I'm able to go out there and, and I think he's he's sitting too far back, well, I'm, I'm going to make that, that inside move or I'm going to fake the inside move to make him uh, respect it and then come back outside. If I feel like he's light on his heels, then I'm going to fake power or fake uh, speed and go to power. So it's just I'm playing the game. It's more than muscle memory, though. It's something that runs through your head when, when you make those Maybe combo them up. I mean, I've made all those moves before on the field. They're they're not always, you know, uh, joined together. But it's you know just a it's a matter of you know what he's he's giving me and what I, I think can can uh, be productive during that play. How do you size up Herbert? Great quarterback. I mean, the guy's proven a lot uh, this year. And, you know, he's shown that you know he needs uh, needs his respect, and uh, you know I feel like he's. Like he's progressed a, a long way, just just like Slater. You know, they are uh, 
wiser than the, the years that they've been in the league, and they've, they've studied the, the game a lot. And, uh, you know, he's able to make throws on time, and we gotta got to keep him off his rhythm. You know, he's able to, to make throws because, you know, they're there, and we got to start taking away throws so the, the rush can get there. How do you kind of gauge the confidence in the defense right now if you guys stacked back-to-back performances like you did? I mean, in defense, uh, confidence kind of where it was you know, two weeks ago. No, we know we got. We still got something to prove. We got something to prove every week. You know, there'll, there'll always be you know someone who doesn't uh, believe in what we're doing or, or our performance for the week prior. So you no, know, we just got to keep on putting it on tape. Did you, you watch like that? You have to step up a little with you know Baker's injury right now, and the offense kind of slowed. You guys feel on the defense. It's maybe your guys' time to step up a little bit. I mean, we're gonna do our job. So we're not. I'm not too worried about uh, with Bake because I know he'll go out there and you know, he'll do his thing. And uh, whether we you know, attack him with the run game or he airs the ball out, I think offense will be just fine with all this uh, talented skill players we have over there. And, uh, and we're going to go out there and make plays. We're going to try to take the ball away, which we, we need to do more of. And uh, you know, if we keep on giving the ball back to them and uh, keep making them kick field goals or keeping points off the board in general, no, no way. Been around Baker for a while now. Does it shock you at all that he's out there fighting through an injury like this? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, the guy has shown that uh, multiple years in his in his football career, not just in in the NFL. So, I mean, he's tough and he's not going to let anything hold him back unless it's you know, he can't walk. Miles, yeah. Both teams are three and one. I mean, does this feel like a big game? No. Uh-huh. Feels like a big game because it's a new stadium, you know. <laughs> I've never been there, so I think it'll, it'll be fun. But uh, I feel like it's a it's a good uh, measure for both of us. See where we're at, and, and uh, you know the progression of you know, either of our seasons. Did you break any machines over there today? I, I tried to tone it down a little bit. You know, she was trying to tell me, you know, you got to can't let any slack get into it. Don't <laughs> want to break it off the spool and all that. You know, it shouldn't be so technical. Just pull. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I know that. You guys always say everybody's playing hurt, not nobody's 100% or all. But, you know, with Miles, or not you are Miles, with Baker playing with the shoulder and you, Miles, playing with what you're going through, is there a leadership component to it? I mean, great leaders, are, they're going to they're gonna fight through anything and everything to, to be out there for their guys. And I, and once you once you kind of put that out there, you make that the standard, and everybody else will, will follow suit. They'll be out there doing their job because they can, and they can do it at a high level. You going back to the sleeves? After the I might let the muscles out. <laughs> I might have been scaring folks. But if, you know, I got another drug test coming, then we're going to have to put on the sleeves again. So that what goes into that decision. Like, I know you wear sleeves pretty often, right, during the game. Like, yeah. you just feel more comfortable with this is what you like? I just like sleeves. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know when it came about. It was probably... Probably watching LT. He used to wear, wear sleeves a lot. I saw Reggie wear sleeves. I was like, man, that's just a good look. And then uh, I just kind of got got used to it. I might switch it up, but we'll see. Game time decision. So I, I, I know it made for a good post, but like, did they really not test you all season until this week? Was they that- had tested me two weeks ago, and then they had tested me after the game. And I know you said after the game, um, you were doing an on-field interview about getting Coach Stefanski something. Mm-hmm. Did that ever happen? Have you been able to do that yet? Into my locker. I got to give it to him after this. Can you say what it is? Yet? Absolutely. He can tell you <laughs> if he wants to. He'll be able to hang it up.